hey, there's a lot of conversation in the groups lately, again, about what software is the best and which one you use and whatever. And I've told my story before. I started out with Docket. And I switched over to DRS for a little bit, and then I went back to Dawkit. I think it's all about what you start with, what you know, what you get comfortable with. But the important thing is that you also have QuickBooks. Uh, this is just my opinion. I know you can do everything through Dawkit or DRS to do your taxes and all that, your profit and loss statements. But let's talk about QuickBooks for a quick second. So I've had QuickBooks for quite a while. Uh, it's probably the first software I got because I knew I needed to keep my books in order. So I got QuickBooks online. Uh, works works really good. I my business has its own business account through a local bank. I link that with QuickBooks, and it sees all of my charges that come down through. So the problem with doing all your finances through Docket or DRS is it's only as good as the information you put in it. With QuickBooks, I can, you know, it it makes me match the transaction so I can actually see what I'm spending and where um, for those little little expenses. Let's say, you know, windshield wash fluid for the for the truck or something. Um, that's going to pick that up, and I might forget to put that into dock it as an expense or, or whatever. Um, now, the other good thing about QuickBooks, most accountants, when you go to when you go to do your taxes, you can assign your accountant, or you can give your accountant access to your QuickBooks. Uh, it's limited access. They could go in there, see everything, give you advice on, you know, what you could do better for next year or, you know, whatever. Now, if you're using Docket or DRS and QuickBooks, there's a couple of things that you need to watch out for. If you have your bank account linked, and let's say I get uh, my credit card company sends my deposits say five thousand dollars to uh, to my bank accounts that finally deposit quickbooks is going to see that and it's going to make me match it if i also link my docket with quickbooks well it's going to see that invoice so i'm not going to be able to match those what it does is it kind of doubles everything up so i choose not to uh link dock it with QuickBooks. I just find it easier that way. And at the end of every week in QuickBooks, what I do is called a, a weekly sales receipt, which is standard, which is standard procedure in a lot of businesses that have a different point of sales um, system, a POS system. So think of Docket or DRS as a, as a POS system, not piece of shit, point of sale. <coughs> and then at the end of the week, usually on Saturday morning, I do a weekly sales receipt, put all of that stuff into QuickBooks, and then I can match it from there. Works exceptionally well. I started off doing monthly sales receipt. So whatever I did for the month, I would put that in there. Here's my revenue. Uh, and here is how that came into me, whether that's through credit card, cash or check. So when I just went to the accountant yesterday to get my taxes done or to start getting my taxes done, uh, she was very impressed on how we did that and uh, recommended we keep doing it. So long story short, you need two softwares. You need one to track your dumpsters and you need um, one to track your finances. I use Docket. I really like it. It's easy and it allows me to adjust on the fly. If I need to pick something up and, you know, do some 
some weird, crazy, whatever. I made a deal with a customer. Dock, it allows me to do that um, and kind of figure it out later. Where DRS is really cumbersome. I saw a post this morning about somebody doing a swap out. They picked up a can, dropped off an empty can. They went to the dump and weighed the full can, and that put the weight on the empty can. They had just dropped off. So, you know, I don't know. I think I ran into that once or twice. And you just need to be able to, you know, adjust on the fly and be able to do what you want to do in that system. It needs to be uh, flexible enough to do that. So that's what I've done. And as far as that, even if you're doing a, some people still use a calendar or a notebook, you know, they only have a couple of cans and, and whatever, you know, I, I don't prefer that because I really like the way that Dockit allows me to put a contract right in with the invoice. I can do that contract based on customer groups, you know, residential or contractor. Or, um, and I have a few groups, you know, new contractors. They don't get any perks. They pay just like residential does. And some of my good contractors, I got them set up for net 30 and dock it will send out notifications when they're getting close to their due date works out great i can assign different dump fees for you know different areas uh that i cover different transfer stations you know so on and so forth so uh it's really customizable as much as you want it to be if you just want a simple system to track your dumpsters and take some credit cards, maybe do some online booking, Dock it's great. If you want to track uh, a ton of dumpsters and, and do all kinds of uh, custom stuff, Dock it is great too. So that is a plug for Dock it. I really appreciate them. And make sure you get QuickBooks. QuickBook, QuickBooks Online uh, is going to be your best bet. I think it's probably the most economical and it's going to help you out come tax season. So, all right, thanks for watching. That's my long answer to some of the questions in the in the groups. Um, I hope that helps somebody. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.